Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. Today we're going to look at a cooking table I bought uh, for my Dutch ovens. Um, always was kind of silly to see people unpack stuff, but uh, this package got in. I was out working in my outdoor kitchen, and uh, the driver just dropped this off. So I thought, you know what, I want to look at this. And I figured while I was looking at it, uh, might as well show it to y'all also. But this is a table to set up and cook on my Dutch ovens with. So we're gonna we're gonna look and see what's in there, and see how they did. I actually got this table from a place called Chuck Wagon Supply, and. Uh, Deborah is there who I dealt with. She was just real sweet lady. Wonderful to deal with. Uh, no problems at all. She kept me notified on uh, when shipping would take place. Items like that. The things you want to know. I was going to cut this open with my razor. But I got to thinking there is a uh, box, I mean a, a cloth carrying bag or canvas carrying bag. So I want to be careful and not cut that open. So let's see what happens here. Let me get there this open go. and not cut that bag. That's what it looks like when you get it. And there's my canvas bag I was worried about cutting open. So canvas bag is there. Inside is, these are the side shelves. It's going to be one on each side. Get rid of the paper here. Christmas time. Getting to unwrap give presents, gifts. But let's sit those down for a second. Next thing we're going to look at here is the windscreen. One thing I did like about this from uh, Chuck Wagon Supply is it had a nice tall windscreen. Other windscreens are not as tall as this one. Nice big piano hinges, riveted on. This just really looks like it is going to last a long time. And I thought it was moderately priced. It's a little more than some of the others, but for what you're getting for this heavy steel table, legs <coughs> that fold down, And let's try this one. It's locked in. And if you will look, there's a nice carry handle on that side. So, nice looking table. Now, here's the entire package sitting on the, on the ground, which is where you'll be working at them with. Move the cover out of the way. These are our, uh, our shelves that we have. And I tell you what, these shelves are nice. They're heavy duty. And what they do is they just slide in three little holes right here. Got that one done. Works very easy. Slide them in the other end. Right there. And the windscreen itself hooks onto the shelves. Now, some of y'all may have seen a review on this product already from 1960 Hiker Dude. And he did a, a great review on this product. But that's it, it's set up, it sets up easy. It's a nice looking product. This table is heavy duty. I, I think it's going to work great. All right, now if we look at this, um, I think the interesting thing is, is in a pinch, you could put a 14, a 12, and a 10 all on here. Now, would there be some heat from the other one? Sure there would, but it could be done. Uh, another thing that I liked was 
is I can stack two 12s and they're below the, the windscreen. Top just barely, barely sticks out with a deep 12 and a shallow 12. So that's excellent. And of course we know we can always stack our smaller ones on top of the other ones. You know, that's a lot of weight on there right now. I've got a 14, a regular 12, a deep 12, and a 10. And that table is solid. It's secure. It's not going anywhere. Looking at it, same thing Tom said. Might look a little bit low, but you can work with your pots good. They are a good size for picking up and dealing with. Um, I may not sit that 12 full of stew or something up there, but uh, it will hold it. Come back down. If we're dealing with our our lids, I can reach in here with a lid lifter. Take that off. Great place to sit the sit the lid. Keep it clean. Do what you need to. Get it back on there. Anyways, nice table. I like it. I think this is going to be great for camping. If I was going to do an event with a lot of big, uh, big pots, uh, a lot of things going on, probably still work on the ground and do that. But as far as our tent camping, that's going to work. That's going to work very good. Slide in handle. See, move it in out of the way. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. We really appreciate y'all being here. Um, hope you enjoyed this little quick video of my uh, Dutch oven table coming from Chuck Wagon Supply. If you want a detailed look at this, some close-ups of the welds and the parts they use, I'm going to tell you right now, go to 1960 Hiker Dude. Tom did a great review of this. In fact, you can find Tom's video on Chuck Wagon Supply's uh, website. But uh, he went in there, and he's got some really close-ups, a lot of detailed work that he did on it, and he did a great job on that video. I didn't go into the depth here because I knew I could send you to him. I'll put the link down below so that you can find Tom. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, do that. He's a great guy. He has some great hiking and camping videos on there and has some pretty fantastic food that he cooks up in Dutch ovens. Anyways, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. I always do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, now would be a wonderful time for you to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate if you tell your friends about us, and I'd appreciate if you share us on your social media. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you down the road on Texas Style Cuisine. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell, and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.